Good afternoon and welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. Today is the 6th of August and it is a beautiful day. It's really awesome. This is Aspen's litter. Aspen's, can't say that right, litter of kids. These guys are almost ready to rock and roll and go home. They are completely weaned from their mother and in the house with us. This little black and white one says I'm going to be noisy the whole time. Uh, it's a beautiful day and they are loving it outside. They can't stand it when they're inside very long. They are getting hot. Uh, there is still a couple puppies in this litter available. So if you take a look on the website, it will have uh, their pictures. And I do have some no new photos I'm getting ready to put on. Uh, it's just finding the time today to sit down and get them on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, I'm going to give you collar colors. And um, there's three puppies in here that are available. So the first one out here, and I won't do these in any kind of order, we're going to go right down my list. So the first one is 1775, it's a blue Merle, and has a neon orange collar on. And she is 5 pounds, 13.5 ounces. Uh, the second one out here is a male, 1771. It's the black and white. And this one is available also. And it's a purple collar. And it's 6 pounds, 1.5 ounces. The next one out here is a male. 1772 is the microchip number. It's black with a light blue collar on. And it's 6 pounds, 7.5. And it is sold. Uh, the next one is a female, 1773, a light, uh, it's a blue Merle party out here, and she has a red collar on. She's actually right there below me, just walking away with the black socks on her back feet and her tongue hanging out. Uh, she is 5 pounds, 13.5 ounces. Uh, the next one out here is a male, 1769. It's a blue Merle Phantom with a yellow collar. It's right there, just got up, oh, just got knocked down. It's right by the black and white one taken off. So we'll do some close-ups of collars in a minute. Uh, then there's a blue Merle male out here. 1770 is his microchip number. He has the royal blue collar on. And we'll have to find him in here in a second. I see you guys down here. Okie doke. So the male with the royal blue collar is right here in front of us, scratching his ear. You can see that royal blue collar playing with the green toy. Let me zoom back out. And the last one in here is 1774. It's the Merle female that's the phantom female with the pink collar. And that is her attacking the black puppy. So we'll get an idea with their color colors here in a little bit. We'll zoom in and try and get color colors. And she is five pounds, three ounces. Um, and if I forgot to tell you, the royal blue collar male is 15, five pounds, 15 ounces. So that really finishes up color or the weights and the collar colors. So um, these guys are current on everything they can have so far. They are really close to going in for their spay and neuters. And you can, uh, if you are seeing this on YouTube and you want to know what we have available, if you go to our website and go to Aspen's Litter, you can actually scroll down the uh, website on the for sale, Snoodles for Sale page, and you'll find Aspen. And all of her puppies are marked right above each of their photos. So if it's available, it will tell you available uh, above the photo. And if it's sold, it's going to tell you that it is um, sold above the photo also. So let's zoom in here. The one up here on the is the, the Party Merle. And I think she's the one with the red collar. I can't see her collar because she's chewing on grass. But I'm pretty sure she's the red collar. Now she's going to zoom up here by us and we can possibly, yep, there's the red collar. We just spotted it. Blue Merle collar, or the blue collar on the Merle is right here, laying down, grazing on the grass. Light blue collared puppy, which is the black one, is right there. 
And the neon pink, let's see, collared merle is up on top. Oh, just came off there. You got a quick flash of that collar. And she's like, somebody wound her up and turned her loose. That's orange. That's neon orange. Looking at the wrong collar. The neon pink is the merle. So she's got the orange. It's so hard to see these collars in these thick coats. The one that just fell over is the yellow colored puppy on her back. And they're all picking at each other. The purple collar is the black and white puppy. I see you. Are you looking at me? I see that blue eye on the right side. Oops. And of course she's going to run over here. That's the neon pink on the yellow toy. And who did I miss? That's the yellow color one right there by the Merle. I think we got everybody. I'm hoping I didn't. She keeps looking at me. I hope I didn't miss anybody. There's that yellow collar. You can see a flash of it. So they're all going to get on there and play hide and seek. They love these dumb beds. These things are indestructible. I love these. They're going to play tag now. Lo oops. Lots of times they're not very coordinated getting off these beds. That's for sure. Um, these guys, if we are shipping to you, please note they will go home with the health card on top of their crate. Oh, this one's going to stalk another one. He's watching to jump. Nope, I quit stalking. Um, they are going to have their health card on top of their crate. They're going to have some extra dog food on there. They're going to have their health card with everything on it for your vet. And they'll also have your spay neuter sheet on there too that your vet will probably want a copy of. Please don't let them keep your original. It should have your microchip number on it. And that is your proof with the county when you get your tags to show that you have had your puppy spayed and neutered. And in some instances, different counties will give you either a lifetime tag or a much reduced rate on your dog tags. So keep that in mind when you go to the vet. Uh, if you have not booked in for puppy pickup, please do so ASAP. You also want to make sure you have your vet visit scheduled with your vet for the first three days you hit the house with your new puppy so you can get their well puppy check done. Uh, these guys have been a real, real fun group. I'll tell you what, for Aspen's first litter, they could not be a nicer group of kids. Um, they're ornery, they've got beautiful thick coats, they've got great personalities, and they're just full of it. Um, oh my goodness, all right. So if we're shipping your puppy to you, one other thing, and I'll probably hit on this later, but if not, we're going to cover it today. When you pick your puppy up at the airport, if the puppy smells clean, do not baby talk it. Do not get it out of the crate. Put it in your car and go home. Uh, once you talk to it, once you get it out of that crate and baby it, it will not go back in. And if you've got a 45-minute drive, it is going to scream the entire way. And if you hold it on your lap, it's probably going to pee or defecate on you because it's, it's held it all day in that crate. One other super important thing is do not let them out at the airport to go to the bathroom. It is the worst place in the entire world. It's like going to a roadside rest because every dog that flies into that airport from across the United States, if their breeder was not a responsible breeder and said, please don't let them out at the airport, you are going to expose your puppy to every other germ, worm, and disease that has flown into that airport. Dogs pick up all disease from feces and urine and bodily fluids. So please remember that even when you go home. Uh, I know everybody always wants to show them off to the neighbors, let them play with the neighbor's dogs. But until you finish your puppy shots, you really want to stay in your own yard. You don't want to have a puppy play date with somebody else's dog. And you certainly don't want to stop at roadside rests when you travel. McDonald's and Burger Kings or any place like that where the most of the average families let their dogs to, out to go to the bathroom. So that's just something to be aware of. Um, I'm also, and I can't remember, I don't think I've done it yet. We're going to send out all your puppy videos this week. So you're going to get an email that has uh, several videos on it for you to watch. If you are coming here to pick up in person, then you can just write down all the questions I did not answer for you on these videos. Um, there's also pictures of, if you're not coming here, there's pictures of the inside of my garage uh, where we keep the puppies right now. Um, they are right like 10 foot from my office door and 10 foot from the kitchen door. 
So that's why I work really hard on no bark, no bite, and no lick. Because as they're weaned, everybody comes in my house. So I don't want to be woken up in the middle of the night at 3 in the morning. So that is also something that you should not have to do at your house. So I would not get up with them at 3 or 4 in the morning. If you do, that will become your new schedule. So until they have actually spent about two weeks with you, they are not going to be acclimated to your family's schedule. Your time frame of going to bed, getting up, coming home from work and such. So give them a break. Give them about two weeks before you really start in hard on anything but just getting them to know you, getting them the idea of going out in your backyard to go to the potty. Uh, and don't let them run around your house when you're not physically interacting with them. When you are not interacting with them, lock them in a crate. Interacting also does not mean they're walking around behind you while you're doing the dishes or at your desk. It means if you're physically not talking to them and playing with them, lock them up. Don't let them sleep on your lap. Whoops, I dropped the phone, I dropped the phone. <laughs> I've never done that before. Don't let them sleep on your lap. Don't let them sleep on the floor by your feet. Put them in their crate. That way they learn right off the bat, oh, this is where we live when I'm not out with my human family. So there are some tricks to the trade to doing this, things that will help you on your end also that um, a lot of people make big mistakes of. So I'll touch some more on that next week when we put your next video on. So I hope you've enjoyed their video. Um, they're doing great. They are on the way to being crazy little people. Although they're not so little anymore, that's for sure. And uh, if you have any questions or you have not booked in for a puppy pickup date, I am shipping right now. Um, let's see. Well, if you take a look at the website today, I will have their go-home date and their spay-neuter date. The health certificates are only good for 10 days from the date I have them spay and neutered. So please check your schedule, see what kind of shipping arrangements we can make that we can get you in that 10 day period. Otherwise, I do have to go back individually for each of your puppies that are on a different date. And my vet does charge 75 bucks an office call for another health check and a health certificate. So please make sure we can get your shipping scheduled within the dates that they're going to be uh, spayed and neutered in that 10 day period. So have a good one. Um, other than that, call me with any questions, and I hope you have a great week.